Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I just wanted to show the current projects that I'm working on. So I made a video where I created a Miku millipede and I'm using from the same pattern to create the little shorter version of the millipede. And this is like the current colors that I'm working with. I'm using this nice pink and purple yarn, mixing them together to create like the head of the millipede and the top of the body of the millipede. Here is the belly so far. It's completely white. And yeah, it's a lot smaller than the Miku millipede. It's pretty short, which I'm so glad. <laughs> but even though it still seems like pretty decent sized, and I'm currently on day one, and this is how much I've done so far. For the feelers, made them both white, and then they're gonna be like on this nice color right here. So it's kind of like a pastel millipede, I guess. It looks nice. I'm using some nice light colors and I plan on making several more. This is more like a progress update almost, but not really. It's just kind of random. <laughs> I got some other colors right there that I plan on creating for the body. And here are some more yarns that I winded because I was originally planning on creating the really large millipede again using these two colors. And they look really nice together once it's like combined, but I probably might just stick to like the mini millipedes since because these are pretty good size enough. I don't know. I might actually create the large one. Who knows? But yeah, I got all this yarn and I still have my other project right there, which is the Halloween cardigan. Still haven't finished it and it's like now it's officially postponed until I get all these projects done. And yeah, this is just the beginning. I am actually trying to prep like a whole year in advance in case I want to become an artist at a convention. Never done it before, so this would be my first time. I'm creating so many things that are not dolls and trying out a lot of different amigurumi that I haven't been able to before. So here is the bottom drawer. This is all I have that's made just a couple of my tentacles. And then I have made like a couple of ice creams here, some onigiri and some mini tentacles, which I also have patterns for. I think all of these should be on my Kofi page. But yeah, these are really simple to make. Nice, easy design. The onigiri is like my smallest and fastest patterns to make so far. Yeah, I'm really excited to make more of these. These take like over a day for me to make compared to the millipede. I'm not sure. They might be the same size actually. But yeah, so exciting. Can't wait to see this drawer more filled up with stuff. I'm on day two with these little millipedes and I decided to crochet different colored feelers. This one is like light yellow. I still haven't decided what color's legs I want for my millipede. But so far, it's a mix of pink and purple for the body. Here is the white belly and the feelers will be yellow. I think we are pretty much halfway there. Just gotta connect these, put it together. It's so much faster than the long one. I love it. Hey guys, so I am currently sewing this together. The feelers to the head. I want to talk about- oops. I want to talk about the whole thing about becoming a vendor at an artist alley because that thing has been like on my mind for the past week or so and I am kind of nervous about it because like the people who participate in artist alleys. They tend to sell, you know, prints and sometimes there's like commission work. It's usually, you know, for people who draw. So I'm kind of nervous about how I'm going to price my items, how I'm, if I'm even going to be able to sell anything. Amigurumi like this takes so long to make sometimes, especially for like larger items using worsted weight yarn, of course, not your chunky yarn or anything like that. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth renting out a booth and like buying a badge and then like staying there three whole days and worry about losing my money if I'm even gonna be able to make my money back. Never done anything like that before and I would prefer if I can like make money how I would if I were to work out there. So if I could price this at like an hourly wage, that would be like ideal. I've seen other sellers selling their amigurumi online and the price is like really really cheap. So <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to even profit out of this but the idea sounds so cool of becoming a vendor because then you get to see all these people and you know it's my chance to possibly socialize or at least gain some experience with selling and being around people and of course being at an anime convention and you're around things that you like people who have the same interest as you i love going to cons cons are fun it's fun going with friends and such i've been a volunteer at one before and I got to meet some cool guests like Aki Dearest and the anime man. It's really awesome. But becoming a vendor for the first time, that's new. I don't know. I'm nervous about it. 
it's just a thought, you know? I might try to attempt it, although I have no idea what's gonna happen within the next year. But the idea so far seems really appealing. It's just having social anxiety and going out there and try to be cashier. I, I don't like doing cashier work because I can barely math, okay? I can barely do math. <laughs> Even if I have a calculator, I tend to like freeze when people buy too many things at once. And I've been in that cashier position before where they want this item, this item. And then, I, and then they give me a certain amount of change and they're like, okay, I give you this much so that way you can give me this much back in change and I just, I just can't do the math right, so <laughs> I tend to freeze up when it comes to things like that. I can have somebody else coming with me and helping me out with that part. Yeah, it's something to consider now at this point. I still don't have like a regular job, so I just tell people that I'm like unemployed. <laughs> I stay home and I make stuffed animals all day, woohoo. Seems like such ideal type of job if i were to make a full income out of it be so great so yeah artist alley is probably something i would consider things like farmer's market i've heard people selling at craft fairs though i don't know any that's like local to my area that's considered a craft fair so that's why i'm considering going to a convention instead since i'm more familiar with that it sounds so exciting but i'm like so scared <laughs> but I think I should try it at least once in my life, you know, just to have a feel for it. And if I like it, I could probably do it again. But the idea of being able to travel around the US and like attending different cons and selling there, that sounds fun. Cause then I enjoy traveling and you get to do like short distance travel, going to different places, seeing different people, different conventions. And it just sounds so fun. That's if I were more experienced. I don't even know how to board a plane. Like <laughs> I've been on a plane before, but I get lost so easily. I don't know my way around the airports. <laughs> I even get lost at the convention that I volunteer at, even though I've been attending that con for years. As a volunteer, they gave me the nickname, the lost volunteer <laughs> because I could not find my way around. <laughs> It was just so embarrassing. So that kind of scares me too. I'm like, I, I need to have somebody there with me. <laughs> Got a whole year, whole year to consider it. I have so many things that I'm currently doing right now. So who knows where this will go, but yeah, for now, we shall see. And I'll be back once I am done sewing this on. <laughs> oh my gosh, here's the next update. This thing is starting to look like a roly poly. It looks so cute. I love it. I gave it yellow legs and the belly is white. Ah, so cool. It's so nice. I think this one is coming out a lot better than my very first one, the Miku Millipede. Looks so cool. I can't wait to stuff this. The legs are a pain to make because it's so repetitive. All single crochets and you have to make like so many of them. But in the end, it pays off because it looks so cool. And I'm currently closing off the head right here, putting the chin together. And then I'm going to be tying everything off. Oh my gosh, I love it. This color looks so cool. Cannot wait. I'll update you guys when it's done. Hi guys, welcome back. It's been a while since I actually last recorded for this vlog, but I am done with the millipede. I actually finished the millipede like on the very third day of making the millipede and I just haven't had time to update it since then. But here's my millipede. It's pretty gigantic. Like this is what it looks like when I'm holding it. Oh my gosh, I don't have much room on this side, so I think you can kind of get an idea of how large it is compared to me. So I went ahead and used the yellow feelers. As I mentioned, the bottom part of the belly is white and the legs are also this yellow color. Same thing as the feelers. Very simple design. I'm keeping it really nice and plain for now, but I really want to continue with the other colors like the green and the pink one that I mentioned from earlier. Yeah, I'm really super happy with those right now. It's so fun. This pattern is so fun. So it's definitely going to be in the link below if you haven't seen my Miku Millipede already. Although one thing about this is that like, I feel like if I were to create this to be brown on the top part and then like give this pointy antennas, it'll probably look like a roach. <laughs> That's kind of scary to think about. I'm not really a fan of roaches. In fact, I dislike them quite strongly. <laughs> but at the same time, I actually kind of want to make one. At the same time, I don't. We're going to stick to pastel colors because it's nicer. I think it makes bugs a little bit more easier to look at and hold. <laughs> so, <laughs> But yeah, this is the update for this one. I am currently working on another tentacle project. Of course. This is a purple one. Base is purple. The other suckers are going to be green and purple. So that's gonna be fun. Can't wait. I'll be back with another update for this. Woo! 
So here's an update on my tentacle. Oh my gosh, look at that clock right there. What is happening? Quick update on my purple tentacle and this little mint green suckers. This is how it turned out. I love how it looks so much. I love this color combination. I don't know why I didn't do it earlier, but the purple makes the mint green color kind of pop and the combination is so nice. The red tentacle is okay. I chose red because I wanted it to look more similar to an actual tentacle, at least the ones I saw on Google. But this one I think is my next favorite to the white tentacle that I created. Here's the white one and pink one that I was talking about. This one also looks cool too. The white makes the pink part pop more versus the red. I think the red one, it, it doesn't look as awesome. Love the way it turned out. So, so happy with this one. It's so pretty. And yeah, this pretty much is what I've done in the past week or two. I kind of forgot when I started this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna be making a lot more different projects from here on and I'll still be continuing my doll progress vlogs, but this is like something extra. So that way we can like mix up the content. And I'm also trying to prep in case I wanna do Artist Alley or Farmer's Market or whatever else concludes this vlog. I will see you guys back with another video soon. Bye.